Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get Apex Legends mobile working on the iPad or iPhone. So it's gonna be the same process for either device and we're also gonna get controllers working too. So I've got the Xbox controller and the Sony PlayStation controllers and both of them are gonna be working on either device. So the first thing that we need to consider is the chip type that you have on your iPad or iPhone. So you need an A9 or above. Most devices after 2015 have an A9 or above. For example, this is an iPad Pro with the A10X chip. This is an iPhone 12 Pro with the a14 chip so they're both very recent obviously the newer devices are going to run the game slightly better so today i'm going to show you how to go ahead and set this all up so if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing it just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the app store so i'm going to go and click on the blue app store icon then we're going to go to the search bar and we'll type in the word apex legends press return and then we're gonna find Apex Legends Mobile. So if you haven't downloaded this before, this will say the word get. However, I've downloaded it before, so I've got the cloud icon with the arrow pointing down, which I'm gonna press now, and this is gonna go ahead and download the game. So next one I do is to pair a wireless controller. So I've got my Xbox One wireless controller here. However, you can also use the Sony PlayStation controller. So this is the DualShock 4 and also the DualSense controller will work as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do both types of controllers. So firstly, with the Xbox One wireless controller, all you need to do is go to the settings menu and then we're gonna press the Bluetooth icon here. So I've got my Bluetooth menu open here. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my Xbox One wireless controller and you can see it's flashing now. So it's not paired to any device. Now I'm gonna press the pair button here and then this is gonna start flashing faster. And then you're gonna see that under other devices, we can see Xbox wireless controller listed here. So I'm gonna tap that now to pair that. And when this light turns solid, that means that we have a pairing relationship. So this means this is fully paired. So the process for the DualShock 4 and the DualSense is pretty much the same. We're gonna hold down the share button here, and then we're gonna press the PlayStation button here. And wait for that to start flashing like that. And once that's flashing, then this means it's gone into pairing mode. And you can see here that DualShock 4 wireless controller has appeared under other devices. I'll tap that now. And once that light is on, so once that light becomes solid, it's paired. You can see here DualShock 4 wireless controller is also paired. So this is how to get the two major controllers working with the iPad or iPhone. So now that the game has downloaded, you'll see an open button instead of the download icon. And you'll also see that when we have the app on the home screen, it's gonna be fully completed. So we can now press the open button here and then we're gonna start opening the game. So here it's asking us whether it wants to do any tracking. I'm gonna press ask app not to track. Here we're gonna say okay to detecting devices on the local network. And here we're gonna allow notifications. So here we're gonna skip the intro video by tapping there and then pressing escape here and then it's gonna go ahead and download and update. So here it's gonna ask for our age. You can really write anything you like here as long as you're over 13. So that's the year and then here there's the month. You can write any month you like as long as you've got the right age. So now that we're in the game menu now, so we can go ahead and log into our account. So you can log in with Apple, with Facebook. We can press more here, log in with Twitter or your EA account. So your EA account is gonna be the same as the Origin account if you play this game on console or PC, or you can log in as guest. So I'm gonna press guest today. That requires no account at all. And I'm gonna be able to log in. So when you first log in, you're gonna be pushed through the rookie tutorial and this tutorial is touchscreen only so you're not going to be able to use your controller yet however you're going to need to complete this before you can continue to the next part so even though we have our controller pad we have to use the touchscreen in order to play this part of the tutorial we have to we have to finish this before we can play any other part of the game so now that we've done the rookie tutorial i can go ahead and select a different level i'm going to press free practice here so we can go to the firing range press confirm here and press play so once we're connected in we can actually go ahead and play the game and this is all working as normal. So you've got things like jump here. We can slide down using the B key here. You can use the Y key to switch between different weapons. And then you've got your triggers to do aiming down sights. And firing is using the right trigger here. You can ping here using the right button. Then our left button here is for the tactical ability. And you've got the D-pad here for various functions. For example, the D-pad up is gonna do our shields. And the D-pad right is gonna be for our throwables. The select button is the map button. And the start button is for our inventory. So another tip is to make sure you set your graphics settings because you want as high a frame rate as possible really if you want to be able to play this game well and competitively. So if you go to the graphics and audio tab here, what I'll say is relevant for most people is if you turn the graphics to rough and then if you change the frame rate to high and you also want adaptive smoothing on in general and you also want to display your frame rate. So you're going to press confirm and then we can see the frame rate on the top left here, 40 FPS. So before it was probably set to 30, the higher frame rate you have, the better response times you're going to have and the more competitive you are during gameplay. So anyway, this is how you get Apex Legends where we're working on the iPad or iPhone, working with a controller as well. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other tutorial videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.